You want to come in with me on the kick? Yeah. If I count it, we'll just hit that one. Okay. Count it, Rick. Let's see what happens. Where am I? Oh, we're at uh, Round Top, Texas, here at recording a, uh, an album here at the uh, Festival Hill Institute. This is the uh, Edith Bates Old Chapel, built in 1888, I believe, and uh, it's August. And uh, so you say, well, Ray, why are you recording this album in August? And I, well, if you're, not, if you're not sweating, you're not rocking. And at the tree yard, the walls is gone metal gray, out the door, it never locked. We came out here with George Reeve, we did Enlightenment, we produced that together, and uh, Steve Christensen from Sugar Hill uh, recording down in uh, Houston's engineering it, and uh, Audley Freed, great guitar player, just uh, check out his history, and Rick Richards, that's kind of the core band. It's just a different atmosphere to get away from safe surroundings where we're used to working and, 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 uh, and uh, there's some new approaches coming on on some of this stuff, on some of the songs, and uh, I'm really pleased. So I was expecting a little clapboard church and a few outbuildings and, and uh, you know, just sitting in the middle of a field somewhere. And Ray kept saying, it looks like something in Florence, Italy. It's an old building that was built in 1888 in LaGrange, and then they uh, moved it here to uh, Round Top and re, uh, redid it with uh, uh, it, it's incredible. I mean, the, the sound and the idea and the vibe. I think it's. I think it originally was a Methodist church, but I think it's been desanctified. Obviously, that's. <laughs> I actually got a song called New Year's Eve at the Gates of Hell, which I thought, you know, even even there, New Year's Eve, you would party. And uh, I, but I, I, it's a chance to get uh, some digs in and just about where I am, some th uh, things going on. I mean, I, I've always the Divine Comedy by uh, Dante, the idea of, of uh, you know going down to hell and being able to, you know, kind of come back and tell people, well, this is who's down there. <laughs> And so this is an opportunity for me to, uh, you know, do the same thing in a song. Time I used a Ouija board and I never run a Mickey B flat chord. So I got a double headed snake tattoo. I love how to ching by a loud suit. The action and the motion of a roulette wheel and a woman walking away in a pair of high heels. I kind of thought that this would be an interesting place for Ray because I thought his music would suit this space. and. The space has a real sound to it, and there's no escaping the sound of this chapel. It's in every microphone, and it's part of the record. It's just as much a part of the record as the songs. And that was kind of a gamble, because I didn't know for sure it was going to work, but so far it's worked great. Uh, and I mentioned Jimmy Perkins is a line, son of a bitch. Oh, that's good. Tomorrow I'm going to wear a hat so I'll look cool on this.